Johnny Depp is embracing the island life, enjoying a laid-back and joyful time during his visit to the Bahamas. On August 28, Depp, 61, made an appearance at the High Tide Cafe, a local hotspot, where he mingled with bartenders and patrons alike. Bartender Ralph Zoilo, who goes by the Instagram handle Killer Bartender, was quick to capture the moment and share it with the world, posting a series of photos and videos documenting Depp's visit. In the footage shared by Zoilo, Depp can be seen sampling a drink that the bartender mixed specially for him. A jovial Depp then held up the beverage behind the bar, smiling as Zoilo posed beside him, clutching money in his hands. Zoilo's excitement was evident, with the bartender describing the event as once-in-a-lifetime moments with Mr. Depp in the caption of his Instagram post. Depp, always one to charm those around him, gave a playful nod to his iconic Pirates of the Caribbean character, Jack Sparrow. In the video, he jokes, I know why the rum will be gone, referencing one of Sparrow's famous lines. Depp then added, It's not gone yet, that I know, but I know how to make it go away. His humor wasn't lost on Zoilo, who was clearly delighted to share such a memorable experience with the Hollywood star. The two seemed to bond over the drink, with Depp offering a glowing review. Bad, rum, truly, you got to copyright this immediately, Depp said, showing genuine appreciation for Zoilo's bartending skills. Their interaction ended with a friendly embrace, leaving both Depp and Zoilo with fond memories of the evening. Zoilo also revealed that Depp had been staying in the Bahamas for a week, enjoying the serene atmosphere of his private island. It wasn't the actor's first visit to the area, as he owns a private island in the Bahamas, where he frequently retreats for some much-needed relaxation. Zoilo proudly shared that Depp had visited him specifically for his hashtag house special drink, a testament to the bartender's skills and the welcoming environment of the High Tide Cafe. Prior to this tropical getaway, Depp had kept a relatively low profile throughout the summer. However, in July, the Pirates of the Caribbean star made headlines when he was spotted on a yacht in the Mediterranean with his close friend, actor Will Smith. The two seemed to be enjoying a luxurious escape together, sparking a flurry of interest among fans. That same month, Depp also joined renowned opera singer Andrea Bocelli for a three-day concert event in Italy. Depp performed with Bocelli at the Teatro del Silenzio honoring the late Jeff Beck by playing guitar during the performance of In Aranwes Con to Amor. This summer of low-key appearances and personal connections marks a continued return to the public eye for Depp following a few quieter years. The actor's last major appearance on social media was in May, when he shared a preview of an interview for his latest movie, Jean Dewberry. The French film, in which Depp plays King Louis XV, is his first significant film release in years and it was met with anticipation and excitement by his fans. Depp's return to the screen, however, has been accompanied by moments of personal reflection. In June, Depp shared a heartfelt tribute to the late actor Tamayo Perry, who tragically died in a shark attack. Perry had appeared alongside Depp in the 2011 Pirates of the Caribbean movie on Stranger Tides, and the two had forged a connection during filming. In his tribute, Depp described Perry as a lovely man, with a huge heart and zest for life, offering a touching remembrance of his former co-star. As Depp continues to balance his creative projects with personal moments of solace, his visit to the High Tide Cafe in the Bahamas exemplifies his ability to embrace life's lighter moments. The actor appears to be thriving in his element, relishing in the simplicity of good company, a well-crafted drink, and the tranquility of the islands. With fans eagerly awaiting his next on-screen appearance, Moments like these remind them of the charming, fun-loving Johnny Depp they've come to know and love.